Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have an estate sale uh, Christmas unboxing haul for you today. Um, so I put out word in the last one if you were interested in any of the Christmas um, nows of because of the time of year, and you said that yes, you were. So I'm going to go through here now. Disclaimer: This stuff is maybe a little dusty, and I just might be sneezing a bit. So I want to put that out there. And I don't know exactly how much vintage is in this batch. Um, but we're going to find out. Um, so uh, bear with me if I uh, start sneezing. <laughs> and uh, um, as always, these items will be available in my upcoming sales. And if you see anything of interest, um, let me know. And again, my uh, I do live sales on YouTube, which are every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern and Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern. So the first batch I have are some cards, just some standard Christmas cards, which it's always nice to have extra Christmas cards. Now here is a box that says Snowman Made in Austria. So let's take a look at this. Oh, this is cute. I think he's lost a little bit of his water there, but that is a little snow globe with a snowman. Oh, it's really hard to see him in there, isn't it? And there's like a little blue ball in there. And he has a little sticker on top that says made in Austria. Um, another box of cards. Oh, this is Mount Rainier. That's nice. I am in the um, Seattle area. So because I am in the Seattle area, it is always nice to find things that are um, of Washington. So Mount Rainier. This one is unopened. And then there is a really cute, oh, this is really cute. This says Choo Choo Train, but it's Choo as in Choo. Um, no markings on this. There is the back. Got a little bunny. Huh. Well, this was a display for something, but that's really cute. And, oh, there's one more item in here. And then this is, oh, a birthday card. Okay, that is all from that. So then I'm going to move on to this. Um, oh gosh, and we've got, ooh. Let's see, we've got a whole bunch of ornaments here. And again, this one, oh, this is dated 1987, Kurt Adler. There's a still in package. This was from Nordstrom. The little airplane. Oh, this guy's old. He's flocked, a little clown. Yep, he's got some age to him. Um, here's the wise men. Pretty snowflake still on its card. A little hot air balloon. Cute. Um, hmm. Well, I think something was supposed to be attached in there, but it's not anymore. Is, oh, here's another still in it. Um, Dill Pickles. 1977. And it's still in its packaging. Oh, and this was from Ernst. Um, so Ernst was, has been closed. Yeah, probably since not too long after that. Um, so that, that's real interesting to still find that. Here's another one of these and there is another one, but I need to get this out first. So here's another airplane, Spirit of St. Louis. This is from 2000. There are some bells. Oh, this is fun. Noel. And there's a marking on the back. Oh, made in Japan. So that's got some age to it. That's cute. There's a make your own bow. Um, checking up seventh in a series, Christmas 86, Norman Rockwell. Oh, I see. There's Santa looking down. 
Um, hmm. I don't know what that was. Okay, and then we have what looks like maybe Noah's Ark made in the Philippines. There we go. There's the other one of those. Well, you've got a pretty violin made in Taiwan. This guy just made in China. There's a pretty oh angel chime. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh boy. The tag on here says dream pets. Um yeah, Dakin and San Francisco. Oh my, that's a beauty. That's pretty. And then there's a bunch of wooden ones in here too. <clears throat> and the sneezing begins. Here is another pretty one that looks like Noah's Ark also. Little snowman, little like marshmallow snowman. Um, the baby animal ornament orangutan. Is that? Oh, the Danbury mint on him. This one's still in his packaging. This is also the Danbury mint. Here's another little wooden one. Um, this one's a little wooden one also. This guy says Matthew 1997. Here is a deer head. And looks like the mouse king from the nutcracker on that one. There's a little girl. Uh, this one is, huh, it just says Toy Network 2010. There are a couple little wooden ones. And another one of those bears. Here is a little crochet angel. And here's another one still in its packaging. Um, it was 49 cents, so that does have some age to it. Can't get anything for 49 cents. There's a little wooden one. And then I've got a tray to put them all back into. And another little wooden one, teddy bear, and some little bells. Oh, and one more in here. Okay. And on to the next one. So I've got some napkins here that, um, probably again would be really good for people's junk journaling, um, all of those fun things for Christmas. Um, so I'll we'll keep that in mind. And then um, let's see, oh, there are a few. Ooh. Okay, this, one. this one's a box, a little heavy. <laughs> and there is a book in here. So we have uh, Christmas stories around the world. And this is from, let's see the date on here. This is Rand McNally. And this was the third printing in 1974. 
and it, oh, it just has stories from around the world with a few illustrations in it. Here is a uh, the Norman Rockwell Christmas book. This one is the, let's see here. Well, it says 77 and it could be from 77. It has a really interesting plastic cover on it. And then we have a plate. This is a plastic plate that has been quite used with little snowmen on it or little polar bears, that's it. Polar bears skating around. And then there is another plate. This one is a penguin, really cute. And here's another plate with a teddy bear on it. And a really big plate. Oh, this one's tag. Tag is a good brand. It is made in China, but Tag stuff is really nicely made. And here's another Christmas plate. And this says four side on the back. Nice snowman. And oh, here's a cool plate. So on the back, it says Christmas 74. And then here is a snowflake. And this says uh, made in China 2007. But it also says something or other on there. We'll hold that up. Okay, so that's why the box was so heavy. <laughs> And then there are four of these red placemats in here. All right, so there is that. Now I'm going to move on to another one here. Okay, we've got some little pails. And we've got <laughs> that plastic bin moved. We've got some linens here. And oh, here's a little train. And this says, made in Taiwan for the little train. And this is a container, nope, that just says pretty neat. And here is like a tablecloth probably. a um, what looks like a very vintage um, tree skirt. I'll get in there so you can see the little felt on there, but that's got some age to it. Uh, we've got a little bit of a tangle here. Let's see if I can get that maybe not um so we have <laughs> we've got a whole bunch going on here we've got peace we've got some red we've got this guy here one of these great plastic candle holders and then this is kind of attached so i can't quite get it off right now and then we've got flowers so i'm not quite sure what all of this was but it's all kind of connected and uh yeah, so I'll be working on taking parts of that off. And then we've got a snowflake. We've got, um, oh, this is cute. And a couple of hot pads. Those are always good. There is a bookmark. This is pretty. Not necessarily Christmassy, but it's got elephants on it.
Here is, um, oh my, this is old, because um, again, this says Ernst, and Ernst has been gone for a very long time. Uh, this is made in Hong Kong, and it's still in its original packaging, and it looks like a uh, wicker cornucopia filled with some um, great Christmas greenery. And some other random greenery and parts of the train. Oops, get that off. And here we have a little girl, Angel. Oh, and here is another one of those. Cornucopia filled with some Christmas goodies. And this, oh, this was an Ernst special. So this was on sale after Christmas. Um, oh, gosh. What a shame this one fell apart. Look how cute that is. There is a house. This one is, well, it's made in China, but it's only 49 cents. So maybe that's from like the 90s. Um, oh, here's another one of these little Christmas card ornaments that looks like it fell apart. Um, this one says on here, 1966. There's another piece of greenery and another piece of greenery. Another part of the train. Um, okay, an elephant named Kent on a skateboard. Some more still in the packaging. And other parts of the um, handmade. Some more greenery. More in package. Ooh, more packaging. <laughs> Here is another in package. Here are some bells that are, oh, these are from Frederick and Nelson. Well, I already know who's keeping these. Anything that has a Frederick and Nelson marking, I have to say, those are mine. Um, here is a braille. Here is a little horse. Oh, this guy, I just noticed he was made in Hong Kong. Just the head part. And here is a box. Let's see, oh, we've got some jewelry. So here's a pretty pin and another pretty pin. And oh, here's a Halloween pin. And more in package, in package. Oh, there's the package, in package. And some more, these are all the little wooden guys and more a stray pine cone this poor little guy who went to something i'll try to match him up with something that he went with um hmm. there are a oh i think these are like bookmarks also here is another one with an elephant on it could be a bookmark Now here are some more of those bells, but they don't have the Frederick and Nelson sticker on them. So, um, and then, oh, she, I think lost her arms. Here's the other one. And I think the last thing, nope, we've got one of these little stickers. So here is the last thing I can salvage from that bag. 
And this one is just made in China, but it's still in its packaging with some greenery. And then I can get rid of that bag. Okay, that bag with all of its dust. And I've got one more bag I'm going to go through here, hopefully real quickly. Oops. And so here we've got a merry-go-round. This is some kind of a metal. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll do it this way. Here is, hmm, is a Santa in a little tube. And I don't see any markings. Oh, matches. Huh, how about that? Long matches. For Christmas. Okay. And this says, oh, this is made in Japan. 40 matches made in Japan. And then here we have a American Greetings scented candle. And this was made in the USA. Here is an old tin. Doesn't feel like there's or sound like there's anything on the inside there. And then up here we have this, and I'm going to open this up and see. This is a color chart for Marshall's um, photo oil colors. So then here is your color chart. Oh, that's kind of neat. Put that right there. And then we've got a box here with some cards. Now, this is an older box. The box is really cool. So let's take a quick look at some of these neat things in here. Oh, my. Look at that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And then we've just got some of the long cards and a bunch of these long cards. These are Norcross that are marked New York on the back. So they've got some age to them. Oh, look at that guy. And we've got some more, some birthday stuff in here. Um, hope you're feeling better. Oh, the three of us. Oh, look at this one. Ah. And oh, and some more of these. These are for walls, furniture, and accessories. Meyer cord decals. Some more cards. And all of the envelopes. And some more cards that need to be folded. And then here is, I guess it's just this part of the box, but that is so cool. Okay, so let me get these back in here before they try to run away. Okay. And then we've got, oh, another box. Look at that box. Oh, that is so great. Nothing on the inside, but man, oh man, that box is great. Here we've got... I don't even know. No idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here are a whole bunch of envelopes. Um, looks like there's some cards on the inside here, but on quick glance, it doesn't look like anything old. Um, this looks more contemporary. And then here is a, just a date planner. Um, oops, here's a tin, really cute tin. Um, on first glance, I don't see any markings on it, but he's really cute. 
Here is a scroll calendar. Nope, it's an empty box, but it's a pretty box. Some, um, oh, here's a postcard from San Francisco. This was printed in Korea. Some airmail envelopes. Here are um, 35 parcel post mailing labels. So those would be great for junk journaling. Here is a, hmm, a string of little cards. And then here are some the valet plastic envelope caddy with 26 wildflower envelopes, 59 cents. It does not actually even look like it's been opened. And here, let's see, what is this? Apple orchid personalized magnet. And that looks like that's about it. Well, that was a lot. Um, so thanks for sticking with me on that. There were some really fun little gems in there. And, um, and let me know if you would like me to um, start working some of these into the sales. Um, or if you would like me to um, hold off and wait until like uh, Christmas in July. Um, if, but if I add maybe a couple of these at a time, um, we can get through some of these. I do have a bunch more Christmas uh, that I picked up at estate sales. So um, there will be another one or possibly two of these um, unboxing videos for the haul. So um, again, thanks for staying with me. Um, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll know when I am going um, live for my sales or when I put out new content. And please thumbs up this video um, and give it a like. And uh, any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to leave those um, below. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and again, a lot of these items will be available for sale. Some of them, um, obviously, because of their age, are probably um, going to be done in a more... Um, in a different selling format. I will say that much about it. Um, so uh, yeah, so I think that's about it. I'm going to wrap this up and thanks for watching and I will see you next time.